Hi everyone, today I'm going to review the XP Pen AC19 shortcut remote. This is basically a wireless remote designed for digital artists and creators. All the buttons here you see can be programmed with specific keyboard shortcuts. At the time of this review, the product is US $36. Shipping is calculated separately. It comes with 18 months of warranty. Now this is a way more affordable option compared to the Wacom Express Key Remote, which at the time um, of this video is US $89. Now there are going to be some differences between this and this. Um, I can just tell you straight up. The build quality for the Wacom remote is better and there are more buttons, but this is less than half the price of this. If you have limited budget, this is something you can consider. The build quality is alright. The body is made with plastic. It has this hollow feel to it, but um, in terms of construction, I think it's solid enough. The buttons here, they are very similar to those uh, keyboard buttons. They have the same uh, springy feeling to them. I feel like the buttons here can be squeezed to become smaller so that it can fit more buttons. More buttons would be better, but 9 is sufficient, depending of course on how many buttons you actually need. Now this scroll wheel has little uh, protrusions here to help you get a good grip on it. And there is this button here in the center. So you can assign different uh, functions to the scroll wheel and use this button to change between the functions. And on the back, there are two big pieces of rubber to prevent the remote from slipping off the table. Or if you put it on a pen display, uh, it's not going to slip. And this is the wireless receiver, which is actually quite difficult to take out so i have to use my fingernails to basically pry it out this is usb type a right at the top is where the battery will go this uses a triple a battery which is not included by the way and this is the power toggle so now it's on and now it's off there's no label so uh, it can get confusing at times but do remember to turn it off because there's no auto power off i just realized that because um, earlier on it was flashing red light telling me to change the battery so if you find that you are someone who is forgetful who is not going to be turning this off use rechargeable batteries the remote is not a bluetooth remote so this usb receiver is required before you can use the remote, you have to install the driver. So this remote can be used on Windows and Mac OS. Let's see what you can do with the driver. This is the Mac OS driver. The Windows driver should have similar functionality. From the drop down menu here, you can assess the 10 physical shortcut buttons to customize them. These are the 10 buttons that are labeled here. So. All the buttons have already been pre-programmed. These are the default uh, shortcuts. You can create your own keyboard shortcut. Just click here, reset customer define. And here you will be able to enter your own keyboard shortcut. So for example, I can just click clear here and hit command new, command N to create a new file. Basically assign this new file shortcut to that K1 button. You can also use the buttons to launch applications, uh, launch web pages and assign mouse clicks to the buttons. To customize the scrolling functionality, you can click here and choose from all these pre-programmed shortcuts like uh, zoom in and out, scroll up and down, changing the brush size, or you can enter your own keyboard shortcut. One nice thing about this driver is you can create specific shortcut sets for specific software that you're using. So I have one set of shortcuts that I've created for Adobe Photoshop, another set of shortcuts created for Adobe Illustrator.
because for Adobe Photoshop usually I'm doing like digital painting or drawing I will use a lot of brush tools so I have brush eraser mapped onto the buttons but when it comes to using Adobe Illustrator I actually use the pen tool I need to cut the lines so I have all those functions um, all those shortcuts programmed specifically for Adobe Illustrator so you can just click this little plus icon here to create shortcut sets for the software you use and each time you launch the software the shortcut sets will automatically apply after you're done customizing the keyboard shortcuts I highly recommend you save the configuration file so that if there is anything wrong with the driver you can reinstall the driver and load the configuration file again without having to uh, customize each physical shortcut button again this shortcut remote is great if you are using it together with a pen display that doesn't have many physical shortcut buttons or has no shortcut buttons and for some reason you don't want to use a keyboard for your shortcuts and it's great if you are using it together with the Microsoft um, Surface devices or basically any Windows tablet that doesn't have physical shortcut buttons so for example this pen display that I have has only six physical shortcut buttons so having additional shortcut buttons will improve productivity significantly now in the ideal situation I would actually just use my keyboard in which case I will have access to all the keyboard shortcuts so you have to decide whether or not you want to go with this because it's very compact very portable or you want to go with this which is obviously much larger and a bit more difficult to bring around if you are drawing at home I think the obvious choice is to go with a proper keyboard All right uh, let's test this out so I have the brush mapped onto this button All right so it works fine I have the eraser map to this button and let's switch back to the brush and let's um, zoom in and out works fine I have the color palette map to this button so all the buttons here they work fine I also have undo and redo so uh, the buttons they work fine and they are very convenient to use I've set the scroll wheel here to change the brush size and it's working fine as well and there's a very nice um, feedback when you're turning the wheel one thing the Mac driver is missing is this labels that will appear when you press the function switch button so this is Windows and it works alright but on Mac OS you don't see this one area of concern is if you are using a pen display from another brand you will probably be using another brand's driver and there's also the XP pen driver so there may be driver conflicts personally for me on my system I did not notice any driver conflicts thankfully but on XP pen's uh, website I have read reviews of people who had driver conflicts because they were using some other brands of uh, pen displays now if you are using Windows tablets uh, there are no problem at all because you don't need to install drivers in order to draw on Windows tablet but if you are using pen displays like this that's connected to a computer you will have to install driver and just uh, take note of potential driver conflicts unfortunately you will not be able to know if you are going to have any driver conflict until you have the driver conflict and also uh, by the way this Mac OS driver that I'm using this is not the latest version I tried the latest version and when I tried to save the keyboard shortcuts onto the buttons uh, nothing was saved so I had to use the driver that is one version older if you guys have any questions regarding this shortcut remote let me know in the comment section below do check out more reviews uh, regarding this product on XP Pen's website there are several customer reviews over there I'll put the link in the video description below thanks for watching see you guys in the next video bye